culture, you know, people who've been a part of the culture, contributed to the culture, has fallen victim to violence ever mm-hmm. since Scott LaRock with, with yeah. BDP, you know. And so through the years, we see these things happen, and it seems like it's more more rappers getting killed. The reality is it's more rappers, period. Facts. Right? So that's why the numbers are growing. The other side mm-hmm. of it is is that, you know, a lot of this music, just being very honest, a lot of this music is... It's not just oh, not just based in street ethics and codes or whatever. Um, you know, this 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 culture, hip hop, was designed to help take people out of the streets and to try to give people an opportunity to see another life, present themselves in a different way, and not have to go through the same struggles that people from our communities typically have to fight through. Um, not just the financial struggle, struggles and the socioeconomical struggles and cultural struggles, but just, you know, that whole idea of black people thinking that we're crabs in a bucket. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, that kind of thing. We've been fighting against that for a long time. But the real reality is, is that instead of people coming to hip hop to get away from, from gang culture and violence, they're actually bringing it to hip hop with them. Yeah. Right? So just because you become a rapper and make a record, that doesn't absolve you from the, the, the street dynamic, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And you can't just come into this game and make some songs and sell some records and do some videos and think that the money that you generate or the fame or pop, 